Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hard Adults. The day has come. And continuing with this series of Ripen of a Spy Family, it is the tour of George Foyer, the wife of Loif and mother of Anya, who secretly works as an assassin who bears the name of Thorn Princess. First of all, I want to apologize to you for being delayed with this project. I had some inconveniences and other things in my personal life that keep me very busy. I know that some of you have been looking for this doll and I really appreciated your patience. So back to the video. George has a very elegant and beautiful design and in order to apply it better I made my concept art based on the proportion of the doll that I'm going to repaint adding my personal style in the drawing part. So before we start don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I apply new videos. And without further ado, let's get started. I know that some of you recommend me to use a Barbie for this project, but her proportion don't give me a bite of an anime character. So to make your I use a Dracula head because it does give me those bites and the body of an apple wife from Ever After High. For her hands, I use these from Descendants as they make the doll look more like an adult woman and surprisingly they fit perfectly. Now with that I start cutting the hair from the roots. I scrub it from the inside with a flat screwdriver and then clean the face with acetone. Leaving it like this. It has yellow stains but that's the least of it. Since I need the doll to be proportionate to the doll of Lois, I will do something that I have never done it on the channel, and that is to shrink a head. Thanks to the Dearly Dolls tutorial, I will apply it using the safe method. For that, I need a big glass jar. I fill it with a little water and then fill it the rest of the jar with pure acetone and do it very carefully. I mix it with a chopstick and now I will submerge the head in the jar. The chastity helps me give it pressure and thus prevent it from floating up. I close the bottle with a lid and let it wait for two days as the tutorial say. Since it is my first time I'm very nervous and gob I hope it works as I don't want to waste more acetone. <laughs> After two days I see that the head has expanded which is a good sign. When I take it out and let it dry, I see that it has hardened a bit, and when I compare it with another Draculaura doll, the method has worked completely for me, which makes me very happy. I see many artists do it, but doing it and see it in person is too impactful. Now with that I put the head back on the body and now it looks proportionate. One thing for sure is that the neck looks longer. Off camera I sanding down the ears so that they look more human. And I also increase the breast to make it look more... mature. <laughs> I already prepared the hair wets using black yarn, and to my surprise when I stretched them with the iron they have been quite long. Off camera I already made the wig and thus focused more on making her hairstyle. Your hairstyle at first glance it seems complicated to do, but after having seen this art of the manga and several cosplay tutorials I will do it as follows. First, I will separate the front strands and that each one has the same amount of hair. Now I attach two strands that are close to the ears as you can see. With a wet brush I comb the back which I divided and thus begin to braid on both sides. Stay in this way, right now it looks like Wednesday, but when I cross in the braids and surrounding on the head the hairstyle changes completely as you can see. Now with my tools I will secure the hairstyle so that it doesn't come loose and even more so with the help of the hairspray. And with that I'm going to style the bands and give it the anime touch. Now with scissors I will cut the front strands. Off camera I cut them more with the scalpel and they turn it out much better. I know fixing them with the spray since it was not necessary. 
And with that, I continue with the rest. Okay, I have a little accident with the body, since one of the joints has broken, and I admit it, it was my fault. And let's just say that the accident has to do with super glue. So I have to replace the body with another Ever After High doll and increase her breasts again. Esta vaina solo me pasan a mí. Dios. But well, going back to the video, I start to paint the torso with the same skin tone as the doll's body with several layers of paint and water. I'll do the same with the head, taking advantage of the fact that the paint hasn't dried on the palette yet. Since the doll will have some parts of her body exposed, I will put a little blush to give it a more realistic finish. Leaving it this way. I did the same with the hands. With the problem of the body solved, it is the time for the ripping. And after having applied 3 layers of MSC, I begin to trace the line of her eyes with a light pencil as I draw them in my concepts. Speaking a bit about the character, I like that George, despite having a job like, you know, has some very funny and cute moments and more when she's drunk. Although she's also very dangerous when she's drunk. But she always shows a lot of appreciation to her fake family. With my baseline draw, I begin to pass the blush on her lids to give a more natural touch and then continue with the rest of her face. Also with the child pastel, I mark the color for the base of her pupils. Now with that, I continue to highlight the face with the watercolors. The advantage of having shrunk the head is that the pencils mark the surface in a more solid way. With a dark brown pencil, I give a little intensity to her eyelashes, and so on with her eyebrows. Very well, now comes the best part, which is to give more detail with the black pencil. With a pink pencil, I will give it more depth to her pupils. With that, it's time to use the brushes in certain areas along with the acrylics. Just like I did with Lloyd and Anya, I will put glitter paint in the middle of her pupils and then give her eyes shine. Of camera, optionally, I painted the line where her hair will go in black. And I finished by applying gloss varnish only to the white parts of her eyes and I also to her lids. And this is what your face looks like. Adding my own details and style to each ribbon helps a lot, and I think it makes more impact. I really love how her eyes turn it out. Alright, now let's see how she looks with her hair on. And as always, the hair is everything. She looks seriously amazing. And with that, it's time to make her clothes. For your dress, I will use two different types of fabric. The black one is elastic, while the red one is not. Off camera, I made the base. Making the part was very difficult. And it also took longer because I didn't use the correct fabric. But in the end, I think it turned it out well. With a pencil, I draw the rose patterns on the back of her dress. I don't know if you can see them, but there they are. Now with paint, mixed with Mod Podge, I made the decoration, and doing it feel very satisfying. <laughs> 
and this has been the result. This is how the dress will look on the body of the doll, making the figure stand out just as I wanted. For the decoration, I will use thin black ribbons, which will give it a better finish. I could not record the process of this part since it was very uncomfortable for me. I will only say that I glued the ribbons to the body with silicone glue and more in the neck part. And yes, the dress can no longer be removed, and I must say that it looks elegant with that on. Now with a small piece of black cloth, I will make the cloth that she has on her hands. And this is how, how I put them on the dough. Leaving it this way. And with that, I continue with her boots. It's been a while since I made those shoes from scratch, and I just hope not having loose practice. So now with the needle I start to sew. For the fabric I use the same one that I use for the dress. And yes, it's going to stretch. For as always, I will use soft cardboard for the soles, which I will gradually put on the feet. I use masking tape to hold it for a few minutes. And with that I will be able to make the shape of the boots. Leaving it like this. Off camera I made the heel with tuck pits and I reforcing them with a potsy skull giving it a better shape and finish. Now I paint the heel several times with black paint and I will paint their sole with red paint. And look at this result, they really look amazing, such a wonder. It seems that I had no loose practice. Off camera I made the decoration using the same ribbon that I used for the dress. Now that the boots are ready, I'll take them off the mannequin so I can put them on the doll. Leaving it like this. Off camera, I also made her accessories which will be her emblem in the shape of a rose and her pair of earrings which I made with tuck pits and a potsy. Leaving it like this. With that done, I glued the wig to her head. For her headband, I took one that I found from Cleo the Nile, which I cut and molded with my hands to give it this shape. So now with some silicone glue and gold ribbon which is left over from Anya's uniform, I will go cover the texture for the headband and thus have a solid surface. Reminded as you can see. With these fake roses, I will use two to make the decoration that it has on both sides. Staying like this. As you can see, I made the decoration of thorns using more tuck pits. With that ready, I begin to paint everything with gold. And with that, the headband is ready. Look at this result. This is how it will look on George's head, and it looks good on her. Off camera, I made her nice using barbecue sticks with other things, and which I painted in gold too. God, I miss making weapons. Okay, no, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, just like I did with Lloyd and Anya, I want George to have a second look. At first, I was going to make her pink gabardine, but due to lack of time, I couldn't do it, so sorry guys. And rewatching the anime, I released this look in the first episodes, so I decided to do the following. A white pashmina, a pair of low heels with the same decoration as her boots, a pearl bracelet, a purse, and of course her other headband that she wears regularly. With all this already, I will have a second complete look. Stay in this way, and wow, it changed a lot just removing the gloves, boots, and the gold headband. It looks very elegant in the same way. And as always, tell me in the comments which is your favorite look. And with that, your forger is ready. Now let's see the final photos. The 
the advantage of having delay in this project is that I was able to improve in certain aspects of the ripping. And yes, making dresses is definitely not my thing, and more because I'm very detailed. But it doesn't matter, the doll looks beautiful and see her with her family gives me a lot of satisfaction. And speaking of that, I took many photos of the three dolls that unfortunately I could not include in the video since it was going to be very long. So maybe in the next few weeks I will apply a video compilation of this series including the extra photos that I took and so you can enjoy them. And well, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media as the Hard Adults. The link to my coffee page is in the description of the video. If you want to buy me a coffee, please. I will really appreciate it. And if you think that I should include Bond to end this series, tell me in the comments. That's all for today guys, my name is Eric and I'll see you next time. Bye!